the XFL on Fox here in the Meadowlands. The opening game for these two franchises, the Tampa Bay Vipers and the New York Guardians. 600 plus yards. Other levels of football have kind of gotten away from it. The XFL, they wanted to keep this game while also keeping in mind the safety of the players. And they feel like this is a great And how about this? Austin Duke got a big return early. All the way to midfield. And what a start for the Guardians. Here is McGloin. Blitz coming. Picked up. McGloin stands in. Fires! He's got a first down. It is Powell. It's some RPO, more college, fast, up-tempo experience, and you're kind of seeing that play out in this first drive. Third down, McGloin going near side. And it's caught! Because it's going to come up a lot. Bring on EJ Bibbs as a fullback guardian surging forward. It's a touchdown! Lucky souvenir, souvenir up there. He just threw that ball about 40 rows deep into the end, into the bleachers. Five of the 10. They're going from the two. This will be a one-point try. They will pitch it to Cook, looking for the extra point. He's in. It's seven nothing, New York. As they fake it to him, Murray pressure in his face. Throws. He's got a completion. Daniel Williams, another one of those big wide receivers, hold on after the big hit. He's six. Blitz coming, delay, picked up Murray over the middle. He's got a completion. It is caught inside the 10 by Reese Horn, and it'll be a first and goal. Boy, did first and goal on the fake. Murray in some trouble. It's going to float it to the corner of the end zone. It is not the way. It is intercepted, is it? It is. It's picked off by New York. Uh, play before was so great. Then he comes back and he gives it to him. Andrew Soro was the man who came up with it in the pile at the end. On second down, they will run it here and run it indeed to Victor. First down and then some. Darius Victor. Good, hard running for him. And, and so here is Tampa Bay, that promising drive and then intercepted in the end zone. They're going to run it and power run indeed. And they get a first down with Davion Smith. He said he went back as far back as watching Steve Young's footage of Mark Tressman early in his career with the 49ers. Ball is popped loose. It's on the ground. Guardians say they have it. Didn't look to me like he caught it, Kev. I, I, I'd be interested to see that again. It, it was it was, it was a bang, bang, bang play for sure. Ben Heaney was the guy on the hit, I believe. They're giving it to him. Let's see. It looked to me incomplete. It never looked like he caught it. Receiver did not complete the process of a catch. Therefore, it is an incomplete pass. It will be second down and 15. Throw it again. Four-man rush, some pressure. Steps away, going deep. He's got a man, McKay. He's diving inside the 15. There's your guy, Greg Olson. What a beauty of a play. And the bomb goes for 45. Well, there you go. I mean, you see McKay. He's their most talented guy on the outside. And here he just gets on top of the corner. You see and a first and 10 from the 12. Blitz coming. McGloin sees a floats. He got a man. For six. Great job by McGloin here. Guard line, which is a one point attempt. There are no extra points in this league. They just hand it off right up the gut, flying into the air for the extra point conversion. Able to score it from 12 yards out. Here is Murray stepping up in the pocket. Got a man wide open. It's caught by Tolliver with room to run into Guardian territory. And Jalen Tolliver all. And Franks is no good. The left. Murray over the middle. And what a catch absorbing the hit. It's Truesdell. A one-hander and the hit. He's all the way out across the 40-yard line for a 27-yard gain. Wow. If you want to be able to play tight end at any level, you have to be able to get down the field. You see the two safeties kind of split. They each favor the numbers. When you have a guy like... It's hard playing defense anymore. Murray tipped. And he's intercepted. Guardians stop another drive with a pick. It's Bryce Jones. Who's got it? Hendy got the tip. Jones the pick, the second interception of the game for New York. Every play. Three-man rush, still pressure from Whitlock on the got him. He floats it deep. He's got a man wide open. Has caught. Pearson's got it. Into Vipers territory, down near the 30. Timeout called five seconds ago in the half. Wow. 
two yards on the hookup. This got to be just a busted coverage. Oh, exactly. So the corner, he's sitting and driving. Glanville told us yesterday, right, Kev? Everything they do is combo coverage. You run a two-man route, we're going to sit and we're going to drive. Well, the corner drove. He drove the tight end. Uh, Matthew McCrean. Hold is down, kick is up, and it is right down Broadway. Run it. Near side. Flowers has it with room. Flowers affecting the game now. That's what you talked about, Greg. So they're getting him involved in different ways. And finally, some continuity. And you see the Tampa Bay sideline says, hurry up, let's go. Yep, and we, you talked about it before on the on the double pass. I, my gut is it's going to come off some of those jet sweeps. That was under Soul. Hurry, hurry. Set. Murray looking left, throwing left. Knocked away the line of scrimmage. Dewan Hines got his hands on it, and it's fourth and goal. And but uh, they're going to try to get this to a 14-point deficit. So here is a 23-yard field goal. It's up and good. Going offense here in a minute, I hope. <laughs> that, that would help. Here's McGloin with pressure. Needs his defense to step up. Victor breaks the tackle. Nice play from Victor. He's got a first down. I know you're hoping to get off with you. 12.09 to play in the game. It's Murray on the fake. Pressure in his face, and he completes it. Truesdale fumbled the football. is picked up by New York with room to run. Summers working his way to the end zone. Hit near the goal line as he in. Touchdown. It's the second time we've seen Truesdale have a ball in his hands. The first one earlier in the game got over. I don't think that one's going to get overturned. I think that's a catch, fumble, uh, scoop, and score there by Summers. A little RPO. He's play action. He's wide open. Yeah, that's a clear fumble. He he caught that ball, turned, and tried to make a play up the field. Great job there by Hines, the linebacker, to punch that out from behind. Well, I agree with you. Now let's see if he actually got in. That ball touched the goal line. Ruling on the field was touchdown. It's hard to see against, you know, as an opponent or a teammate. Just a tragic situation with Sean. Fourth down. Vipers need it. Murray somehow completes it. A back shoulder by Williams, and he rumbles his way down. NASCAR, NASCAR. Fourth and goal. Murray looking, firing, and it's incomplete. And the Guardians make a stand, and they'll take control of the football. Yeah bottom of the screen I'd give him a chance but fourth and goal nope. flowers in trouble pressure coming flowers down he goes I'm sure this felt good getting back in this stadium in this city and and showing the people in New York and their fan base that he's a great coach it's pretty cool that he was last year at the NFL in this stadium and now he's back in this stadium and he's got a victory in his first game as a head coach in the XFL, that will do it. 23-3, to the Guardians take care of the Vipers here this afternoon.